Hey everyone, hope you're having a phenomenal day, and welcome to this guide on how to get crowns completely for free. You do not have to spend any amount of money. Uh, we're going to jump right into it. The first way you can earn crowns is through Aegon stats right here and the daily reward system. And so the daily reward system is pretty much exactly what it says it is. You log in, complete a short, like, two minute quest, and you get a reward for it. Uh, this ability, I don't know what it is what to call it, but it, it's unlocked at level 12, and Aegon Stats will give you a quest to do the first daily assignment that he gives you, and then he gives you your first reward. And you can see where your daily uh, assignment is when you first log in on this daily spiral like pop-up screen when you first log on to your wizard, and so mine today is to defeat one Gogger Gorger Colossus Boulevard. Um, you can also see the quest if you talk to in Ravenwood, and then you also get his, uh, his dialogue with it, you hear the voice uh, of him. But you can also see the daily uh, reward. And so the reward changes every day, first starting with gold, and then you get crowns, and then a treasure chest, which is just, you can search up what it drops on the wiki, but um, it doesn't drop anything like, crazy over the top, but it does drop some decent items. I've gotten some like teleporter, uh, housing things and some pet jewels, and, uh, just some, uh, some, like, mode of transport, I think I got once, um, but, yeah, just a, a couple of, uh, pretty decent items to help out, um, but you can see that 50 crowns here at the bottom is, uh, it's not an, it's not something to sneeze at, but I'll tell you why it's a little misleading, um, you can see I have the check marks on all of these days, but, each day uh, starts out a little bit, and then the next time you get it, it increases a little bit. So like, day 4 here is actually 10 crowns, not 50, and then day 9 is 15. And day 14 is actually usually 25 crowns, but right now, it's bonus reward. So if you're watching this video, I highly recommend you get out there and get on this as soon as you can, so you can knock out these and get to the double rewarded crowns. So, like, this will be 20 for you, this will be 30, and this should be 50 for for everyone out there right now. So, highly recommend you go out there and do it. And the greatest thing about this, uh, well, one of the greatest things, is that it's super easy. I just have to defeat a Goblet Order in Colossus Boulevard, which is going to take me, like, five seconds to to run from Ravenwood on my, on my Unicorn to the Shopping District, and then to Colossus Boulevard. Um, and so... The daily assignment is a really great thing because I know a lot of people go through uh, phases of playing Wizards 101, so, uh, me included. Um, just sometimes you're you're busy or you, you just get tired of the game for a little bit and you want to uh, back out. But uh, when you come back, if you just if you do, if you do this every day for like uh, it doesn't even have to have a set amount of, of days, but just for a little bit of time in between when you come back you'll actually have a decent amount of crowns it, it won't be like a, a huge amount to to spend on everything but you could stitch a few items you could you could buy a couple packs maybe an elixir or two just uh, anything you really you, you really need um let me see do i have i do not have my pet equipped um where is he yes shaggy rocky no did it not why is that one work? Okay. Gobbler Gorger. So you can double check if you want. Gobbler Gorger. And then you just jump in here. And, um... I equip this guy because he has the 4-pip AoE. The pet does, so... It makes this easier. I don't have to wait for 8 pips and go... Um... But you just equip your, your low pip AoE. And... See here, after they die, you get this pop up in the left side of your screen. Click on it, your badge is giving me a yellow and this slowly but surely turns Good into work. a check mark. And I get 50 additional crowns. And you can see I've made a lot of crowns just doing this and the other methods in the video that I'm sh gonna share. So make sure you stick around for the whole video to see it. But the other great thing about this. Uh, method of doing it through daily rewards is that you can actually do it on each and every one of your wizards. So if I log on to my balance wizard, who ironically also has the waterworks gear that my life wizard has, uh, if I go home... Oh, it didn't pop up. I think it's just the first time you 
pop up like once you type in your username and password on the launcher and then you show up and you log into your first wizard then this uh, crown screen will pop up reminding you um, so silver servant and the grand chasm and once again you can do it Today's right here and check it uh, my balance and my life are lined up on this day this so location. I'll be getting Good another luck. 50 crowns which is incredible um, and so you just go to Dragonspire and um, let's see it where, where was this Grand Chasm. Okay, I uh, got. A, I think it's the Athenium, and then it's just one of the places out of there. But if you if you line this up correctly, especially with the double members that benefit, you can get three hundred crowns in one day with six figures. And if you already have spent some crowns and you have a seventh character unlocked, then you can get three hundred and fifty crowns. And even if you don't get three hundred fifty crowns, you can get a uh, like the 20 crown reward, you can get the, the uh, 30 crown reward and member benefit, and even if it's not member benefit, 10 or 15 is still nice, and getting the chest is also pretty nice. What, who am I? One silver servant. I have no idea where those guys are. That is the one drawback on this, uh, is that sometimes, like it doesn't tell you exactly where they are, just approximately. So this might be actually a bad place to to do it because there's like these mob fights all along here. So I might have to go along here really quick. But I mean, I kind of enjoy it personally because a lot of times you don't like revisit worlds that you've already you've already uh, finished. And so this is a nice way to like go back and reflect and uh, just kind of enjoy them. Uh, if you have like a favorite world or something, um, maybe they aren't done. Maybe they're in. Uh, the street above. Let's check. Um, yeah, I think they're. I don't think they're in this part. But uh, yeah, daily rewards are a fantastic way to earn crowns. And like I said earlier, it's not going to be an insane amount of crowns instantly. It's taking me a long time to get this amount with uh, sixteen thousand with the other methods. But uh, it like it really pays off over the course of time, and you don't have to do a ton of work. Like, you just have to be consistent with it. Um... And if you can't find, uh, where these people... Where the... Creature is that you have to defeat... I am in the Grand Chasm, right? Yeah. Grand Chasm of Silver Servant. You can always just search it up and find it, and that'll take, like, two minutes. I'll, uh, I'll cut to when I find them. I finally found them. They were on that or from that orange teleporter. And so you can see these guys are balanced and not balanced, but it doesn't it, it doesn't matter too much because they have such low health and they're because the daily assignment usually gives you a oh weakness that's not great but uh, daily assignment usually gives you a creature from a place that's uh, from a world that's much lower than you are so you should have a relatively easy time beating them. Let's see if I get these guys, yeah, pretty easily. With the weakness and resist, I'm still fine. Um, and additionally, sometimes the daily assignment is simply just like going to some place, and so that's that's even easier. And it it just it doesn't get much easier, and it's it's free crown, so I don't see why you wouldn't do it. This is just an additional 50 crowns for like two minutes of searching around for them. I I mean I think that's a great deal. But uh, if this isn't your thing, or this just isn't enough, which is fair for a lot of the expensive things in this. Uh, this crown shop, then um, let's go on to method number two. The second way of earning crowns is actually on the launcher before you even sign in to play the game. You just click on the earn crowns button and it'll bring you to this page. Uh, it gives you three easy ways to earn crowns for your wizard according to the site. The first way is to watch videos but it's disabled because it relied on flash and flash died so I don't think it'll be around for a while. I could be wrong but I wouldn't hold your breath. Uh, the second one, trivia quizzes, I will come back to in a moment. Invite a friend. This one is good if you have friends uh, who are going to play, who are going to spend some money. Because the trick with this one is that you have to have your friend who's joining pay at least $6 for you guys to get bonus crowns. Each of you gets bonus crowns, but they have to make the purchase of $6, so it's, it's not completely free. So be wary of that one. But the best way um, on this page is trivia quizzes. Uh, you log in to start. I'm, I'm not going to log in, obviously. I don't want my information on there, but uh, you log in. Make sure you log in. It's super important, so you get credit. 
um, and you will you can pick a quiz out of this large selection that they have and uh, every quiz that you take will give you 10 crowns for uh, every 9 out of 12 questions you get right. So you have to get at least a 75% on the quiz. Uh, if you get lower than that, you don't get crowns credit. Um, and so that's obviously not good. So I would pick 10 that you have a, a decent understanding of. They have difficulty ratings on here, but like obviously if you know, um, let's see here, what, I don't know, what, I mean, if you know state flags really well, then obviously this isn't going to be accurate. But um, if like famous landmarks, most people can do that one pretty easily. That that was one of the first ones I picked up to do. It's actually uh, pretty uh, like the White House. I mean, mo most people know the White House, um, Chichen Itza, and I mean, if you don't know these, this one isn't a great one to Google because it's a picture. But most of these are like question remark. Uh, like just questions with no pictures and so if you really want to you don't want to enjoy the thing you just want the crowns you can just copy and paste it into google and uh, find out the answer but uh like forbidden pal like these these are pretty pretty easy questions and so you do 12 of these you got to get nine of them right and that gives you 10 crowns and you can take 10 of these quizzes per day so that adds up to 100 crowns per day which is an insane amount if you if you think about it because before you know that that really just starts to stack up like a week of that is 700 crowns and it just it, it keeps increasing the, the more consistent you are with it and additionally if you do this with the daily rewards then the daily rewards are just kind of like a a boost to your 100 crowns so maybe one day you get 110 crowns maybe one day you get 125 150 100, uh, if you do it on multiple wizards, then maybe you get a combo of like 25 plus 50 plus the 100, you get 175 crowns in one day, which is obviously not a ton, uh, but it's also not a super little amount. You can definitely get a ton of stuff for 175. You can fish stuff, you can, a couple of days of that, you could buy an elixir or, uh, you know, a pack or something, uh, which I'm not saying buy a pack, do not, uh, I think packs are... <laughs> Are sometimes a little bit of a gambling thing, but you know, uh, so just just be wary of that. But you know, it's it's your life. Enjoy it. Enjoy your crowns. But um, and then when you finish your quiz, it'll bring you to this page. And if you're not logged in, it'll give you this uh, blue button. Which and if you are logged in, it will give you the same blue button, but it'll just say see your score. Um, but make sure you always click on the blue button and never, never, ever the green button because the green button will just take you to another quiz. If you're logged out and you won't get credit for your uh, for your quiz that you just did, um, and I mean if you are logged in, then it it'll give you credit. But you know sometimes you just forget it, and uh, it's just much easier to always go to the blue. So obviously I'm still not going to log in here, but uh, that'll give you ten crowns, and then you just go and take another quiz, and you do that until you've done all ten, and then you just wait for the next day and crank out another ten. And so all of these uh, all these quizzes start to add up, and then slowly but surely you're getting enough crowns to to make some some sizable purchases. So this is a great way to earn crowns. So those are the best ways you can earn crowns for completely free. Obviously, you can spend money to earn crowns, which uh, you know a lot of people a lot. Of, I mean, this is a kids' game, so a lot of kids just don't have money to pay for it. So I hope some of you kids are finding this guide and you're finding it useful. And um, if you do find it useful, uh, please make sure to like the video and subscribe so I know that this is something people want to hear about and, and learn about. And if you have any questions about any anything Wizards 101 that you want me to make a guide on and help out with, then feel free to make a comment down below and I will read through all of them and make guides based on what people need. I also have some guides based on stuff I've heard about and uh, needed to clarify for myself and some, something my friends have uh, needed help with and just a bunch of stuff but I'm always open to what people need to have help with so just make sure to let me know about that and I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful and I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.